man with his pen and paper in hand trying to sneak an early peek at the TSI World Bracknell Bees who donned their Hockey Fights cancer jerseys prior to the game. Also, Matt Cote became the second inductee into the Hive of Fame prior to the match. Sue Knight welcoming in to join her late husband, John, who will soon be helping us choose who goes in next. Anyway, to the action, NIHL National Games getting underway with a rather familiar pose from the end of last season. The Phantoms spreading the ice as long and as wide as possible, with Glenn Billing making the most rushing into the slot to deflect the puck home. Don't blink twice, the same play happened again soon after. But this time, Petr Stepaniak would use his size to break clear from his man before finding the back of the net as the bees put themselves into a hole. No need to panic though, as with just seconds remaining in the period, with the hosts on the power play, Stuart Mogg moved in to explosive action. The captain leading from the front and ensuring we need to crank up the TSI World Replay machine to see some water bottle action and the only sort of momentum I can get myself behind. The front row getting a dousing as the bees made it a one goal game at the turn. Those of you who joined us on the Bees Radio Network would have heard me say you need to watch Bees TV to work out how this one didn't go in. Harvey Stead's opportunity cannoning back off the post with Jordan Marr well beaten. I still can't quite believe it didn't go in. That wouldn't matter though as Mog once again stepped up to the mark moments later to level the scores on the night. TSI World Replay time again to work out how this one slipped past a sea of bodies. Or maybe if you're Ma, you're seeing it for the first time. But the Phantoms aren't a team to be feared this season for nothing, as their continuous forecheck throughout the game brought them rewards. Billing doing the hard work this time to create the turnover before laying it off to James Ferrara, who earlier this week announced he would be retiring at the end of the season. He probably won't get much easier finishes throughout the rest of the campaign, the Phantoms taking a one-goal lead into the third period. The TSI World Bracknell Beast came out flying in the third, putting up three successive goals to grab the game by the scruff of the neck. Midweek signing Gareth O'Flaherty worked hard to set up the first, Great puck retention put the pressure on before it eventually fell to Vanya Antonov who made no mistake from close in. Before the bees could do any more damage they began to swarm the net with the Phantom players not happy with how close the bees were getting. resulting in a um, roughing penalty? Sure. And the Phantoms were continuing to keep the pressure on at the other end, but Adam Goss was standing firm, even as the Phantoms were looking to create golden opportunities for themselves. That's allowed for a little bit more of water bottle wobbling from the bees as they took the lead in front of yet another packed ABSS school zone. Antonov going up high over the blocker side as our TSI World replay shows for a one goal lead.
Now nothing is ever smooth at this time in the season and bits and pieces have to be remembered, like the rule book. The bees with multiple men in the box as a 5 on 3 came to its conclusion and they made the right call to have Joe Baird leave, but that seemed to spark confusion amongst the officials. Unfortunately we can't get the rights to the Benny Hill theme tune. Eventually they were happy to go again though. And once the Bees had killed the remainder of that penalty, it was their own power play that saw them extend the lead further. Edward Nags is dry from the point finding the tip of Zach Milton, which you might need to catch again on the TSI World Replay as it looped past Marr with just under five minutes remaining. But it wouldn't be a night out at the hockey without a bit of late drama. The Phantoms ensuring it would be a third consecutive Saturday 5-4 victory for the Bees as Will Weldon fired home from close in. But that wouldn't stop the league season from getting underway in perfect fashion. Yeah.